Hello friends, it's me, Miss Diane again, and I've brought you another story to read. Um, I'm going to continue on with our theme of bunny stories, and um, I picked this story because I know that it's a favorite of so many children. I always get requests for this story, and so I figured now would be the perfect time to read it to you. I think you all know this story, but it's okay. We're gonna read it again anyway. It's called Dun Dun Dun. Ah! Creepy pair of underwear. Yes, I know you've been waiting for it, and I've been waiting to read it to you. So awesome! But before we read this, we have to do our hello song. Are you ready to do our hello song? Great. Get out your pretend glasses. Get out your pretend book, because here we go. These are my glasses, this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. Then I'll read, 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 and I'll look, look, look. I'll put down my glasses, and then I'll shut my book. I know, I did that faster than we usually do it, but that's because I'm so excited to get to our book today. But, hmm, let me think. Oh, I know. I know a little bunny finger play. You know, that means you need your fingers to do it. So that means we need this hand with two fingers, and then we need this hand, because this is gonna be our bunny. And this is gonna be the little hole that he jumps inside of. Shoop, just like that. All right. And it goes like this. We'll practice it first. Here is a bunny with ears so funny. And here is a hole in the ground. At the first sound he hears, he perks up his ears and he jumps in the hole in the ground. Got that? All right. I think I'm going to sing it this time. Yeah. Here we go. Get out your bunny. Get the hole in the ground. Good job. Here is a bunny with ears so funny. And here is a hole in the ground. At the first sound he hears, he perks up his ears and he jumps in the hole in the ground. How is that? Good. Very good. All right. Well, here it is, folks the moment you've been waiting for. Please invite your parents or your big brothers and sisters to join us for this spectacular reading of Creepy Pair of Underwear. Ah! If you think that you're gonna be scared, maybe you should leave the room or just hit the pause button and make me go away. All right, here we go. Creepy Pair of Underwear by, of course, Erin Reynolds is the author and pictures by Peter Brown. You might recognize the bunny from Creepy Carrots. Do you remember that story? Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Creepy Pair of Underwear. Oh, I'm just being silly. You know it's not really that scary. <gasps> Jasper Rabbit needed new underwear. On Thursday, his mom took him to the underwear store and grabbed the last three packages of plain white. But as they headed out for the checkout, Jasper spotted them. Creepy underwear, so creepy, so comfy. They were glorious. Mom, Mom, can we get these? Jasper pleaded. I don't, I think they're a little too creepy, said Mom. They're not creepy, they're cool, said Jasper. I'm not a little bunny anymore. I'm a big rabbit now. So mom agreed to buy just one pair. Mm -hmm. 
That night, Jasper wore his cool new underwear to bed. Do you want me to leave the hallway light on? asked Dad. <laughs> Dad, I'm not a little bunny anymore, said Jasper. I'm a big rabbit now. So his dad shut the door. And that's when Jasper noticed. <gasps> the underwear glowed. It was a, a ghoulish, greenish glow. He closed his eyes. He pulled up the covers. He buried his face in the pillow, but it didn't help. He could still see that ghoulish, greenish glow. Jasper leaped out of bed and put on a pair of plain white. He stuffed the creepy underwear to the bottom of his laundry hamper. And finally, he fell asleep. But can you still see the underwear glowing from inside the hamper? Yeah, me too. But when he got up the next day, ah, he was wearing the creepy underwear. Jasper threw them into the garbage can. He was still a big rabbit. He wasn't scared or anything, but he was done with the scary underwear. I probably would have done the same thing. After school, Jasper was doing his homework when he heard it. It was a, a scratchy, scraping kind of sound coming from inside his dresser. He opened the drawer and ah, they were back, staring at him with that ghoulish, greenish glow. He snatched the creepy underwear out of the drawer. He grabbed a great big envelope and some stamps. Bye-bye, scary underwear, he said, dropping the package into the mailbox. Can you see where that letter is going? It's going to China. Yeah, he's sending those underwear on their way, far, far away. Well, when he opened the front door the next morning, ah, they were there. And wait a minute, were those chopsticks? His creepy pair of underwear had somehow returned from China and it brought back souvenirs. <laughs> Look at how scared he looks. Ah! <laughs> Poor Jasper. Jasper grabbed his mom's good sewing scissors. She didn't like him using them, but this was an underwear emergency. This time, the creepy underwear were gone for good. He chop, 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 chop them up the little teeny tiny pieces. <laughs> Bedtime, he slowly opened his underwear drawer. Nothing, just plain white undies. He searched under his bed. He shook out his lampshades. Phew, there was no sign of the creepy underwear. And so he went into the bathroom to comb his ears. <gasps> they were back. Oh, what's the matter with you? His mom asked. You're so jittery lately. Uh, um, nothing, he yelped. A grown rabbit couldn't be terrified of his underpants. Well, Jasper seized the underwear. He snagged a shovel from the garage and he rode. And he rode and rode and he didn't stop pedaling until he reached Creek Hanger Hill. Oh, it's a brand new book. Jasper began to dig. He dug until his hole was dark and deep and 100% 
Underwear proof. He dropped the underwear in, shoo, boom, and they gleamed from the bottom that ghoulish, greenish glow. But not for long. You can see that Jasper buried those underwear under all this dirt. When he got home, Jasper crept up to his dresser. They couldn't be in there. There's no way, right? He reached for the handle. He peeked in. Whew. Nothing, just plain white. Jasper smiled and he turned out. That's all I could see, just darkness. There was just one problem. It was really dark in there, even for a big rabbit. Well, Jasper turned on the light. He looked at his non-glowy pair of plain white, and he knew what he had to do. He grabbed a shovel. He went outside, and he dug 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 until, well, he found the creepy underwear, and they were a little muddy, but they still filled the room with that gentle greenish glow. The next day, Jasper gathered his allowance money and he went to the underwear store all by himself, just like a big rabbit. And that night, Jasper wasn't scared at all. And as he lay down to sleep, he smiled. And so did his underwear because they had finally found somebody who wasn't scared. of creepy underwear. <laughs> Look at all the underwears. <laughs> Smiling and laughing. Some of them are even sleeping. Oh my goodness. Was that too funny? It wasn't too scary, was it? No, of course not, because it's just hilarious. Oh, my friends, hold on a second. Let me just check really quickly because my, my other cat was in here about five minutes ago and I did promise that I would introduce you to her. Let me just see if she's still here. Hold on. <gasps> she is. Do you want to wait a second? I'm just going to go. I'm going to grab her and you can meet her. Okay. She's right here. One second. Wait one second. I'll be right there. Ready? Uh. Come here, come say hello. Come say hello. Oh, I she was sleeping. I woke her up, but that's okay. She sleeps almost all day. She can say hello. <gasps> Look at those pretty green eyes. Her name is Midnight, because as you can see, she's all black. She's as black as, as Jasper's room was at night, wasn't he? Isn't she? Yeah. Say hello, Midnight. She's a good girl, too, but she's a baby. She's a big baby. Now, I'm going to send her on her way and see if she leaves me alone, okay? Because just like most babies, they love their mamas. She really loves me. All right, can I let you go? Will you go away? Because we got to sing her goodbye song. And you really can't be in the goodbye song because I don't think you know the words. So sit down or something. Because I gotta get my cowboy hat. I got it! Here it is. Here in a minute. Here we go. Put it on. Yes! That means we're ready for our goodbye song. We'll see if midnight helps us. Okay, there we go. All right. Did you bring your yeehaws with you? Yes. 
Okay, I know you're my cat. Her hair is getting in my nose. <laughs> She's right here. I don't know. Can you still see her? She's right there. She's right there. She's right there. All right. Did you bring your yeehaws? Yeehaw! Good. Did you bring your winky eye? Awesome. And you got your hat. All right. Here we go. Well, it's time to say goodbye to my friends. Yee-ha! Well, it's time to say goodbye to my friends. Yee-ha! Well, it's time to say goodbye. Tip your hat and wink your eye. Well, it's time to say goodbye to my friends. All right, partners, thank you so much for joining me again today. And next time I see you, I think we're going to sing some songs together. Um, maybe I'll even bring out my ukulele and then we can sing together. All right? Great. Uh, it's a beautiful day outside today. At least it is here by my house. It probably is a nice day by your house too. So go out, have fun, explore, drop pictures on the sidewalk with your chalk, blow bubbles. And I'll see you again real soon. Okay, bye.